Welcome to Gobarco University. My name is Ty Aiken. I'm an associate here at Gobarco. Uh, today we'll be talking about perceived stuck sales. Uh, what are they? How can you identify them? And how can you uh, get your way uh, through these situations? Uh, all in all, more often than not, the item is not necessarily stuck. Uh, it just may simply be a uh, part of the learning curve and, and knowing how to properly authorize or tender out a transaction on the passport system. Um, so one of the conditions uh, you can try to identify is uh, simply looking at the color of the transaction. If your transaction is in white, uh, then this often, uh, more often than not, is not a stuck transaction. Um, this is simply an unpumped prepay. Um, you set a transaction up on pump number one for $20. The customer um, forgot to dispense or they dispensed on a, another fueling position or um, it was a cashier error, etc. But if the cell is in white, it hasn't been dispensed yet, so it's often not stuck. Uh, you simply just need to hit that pump number, hit the pump stop button. Um, once you've hit pump stop, you will then hit the pump number again. You'll see in the forecourt area that there will be a void button, and if you press void, the yellow message bar will prompt you to select the buffer that you will want to void. So you would select either the A buffer or the B buffer, depending on where that transaction is. Um, once you select that buffer, it's normally uh, voided out. The cash drawer will open if it's a cash transaction or some other payment that's gone in your drawer, and you can continue on. You'll be able to use that uh, dispenser as normal. Um, another uh, common condition is if that cell is in black. Um, if it's in black, then that's a postpay, meaning um, the money is already coming to your drawer, and um, the sales, uh, excuse me, the money has not come into your drawer yet, and um, Basically, the dispenser was authorized, and um, you simply need to tender that out. You're still awaiting payment for that transaction. Um, so more often than not, what we see is uh, typically when the cell is in black, it may be a mistake where someone has hit the pump number and authorized, and uh, they've basically given the customer an authorization for a fill-up. Um, in order to get through this, you would simply hit the pump number, select the buffer where the transaction is, and then tender that out as uh, expected via credit, debit, cash, um, or what other uh, tender you may use. Um, if this was an accident where you don't know um, how it was actually started, um, a lot of stores create a drive-off button, and those drive-off tenders can be tracked on your reports to determine where exactly um, there's a trend, if it, it's a uh, certain uh, dispenser that you have drive-offs, or if it's just a common cashier mistake. On your drive-off ticket, you can also track uh, other information about that transaction as well. Um, and then another condition is if the cell is in red. Um, if the cell is in red, this is just an indication that that dispenser did not stop at the preset amount. This is a common condition. Um, it may be an underrun. A uh, customer does a $20 prepay. They only pump $19.75. This is just an indication that that customer is due change. Um, so this needs to be tendered out as normal. You would hit that pump number. You would select the transaction, tender it out to give the customer the uh, due change. Um, you also could have uh, instances where there's uh, overruns. Uh, the dispenser runs over a penny or two. And if you see these uh, starting to be a trend, you probably just want to identify if it's the same position, keep the uh, receipts. Um, if it's the same grade, if you're starting to see a trend on pump one, for instance, on super or regular, and this may be an indication that you need a technician to come out there and take a look at that dispenser to help figure out what's going on and causing it not to stop at the appropriate amount. Um, but there again, um, these are, are three key conditions you can look for. Is the cell in black? Is the cell in white? Or is the cell in red? And then you can try those appropriate steps to clear that cell out as normal before calling our help desk. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at Gobarco at our help desk. Or you can also check back for more videos here at Gobarco University.